Hello viewers, welcome to another episode of Girl Space. My name is Tabeth Chungwaru and today in commemoration of the International Day of the Girl Child by Millers24, I'm joined by these beautiful young women and we're going to be discussing on areas of how women can be empowered and uh, how women can be empowered and how our well-being can be safeguarded. So I'm going to give these young women a chance to introduce themselves. Okay, uh, so my first question is, you uh, all know the International Day of the Girl Child. Okay, from my own understanding, is that it's a day where we celebrate the girls' rights. We also get to support their dreams, what they want to be in life, and what they want to also pursue in life. Brilliant. Thank you so much. I also believe that's good to see. That's why we celebrate the International Day of the Girl Child. We are celebrating the girl as well as, you know, trying to see how our dreams can be made, uh, can be made to come true. And so my other question is coming uh, to you, Takudzwa. Uh, this is important for us to, 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 for as young ladies to have this kind of day, International Day of the Girl Child. Uh, since really Suvare Kuranga Ravaskana, uh, Vaskana, Sevaskana, Tinema dreams at now, and I want to believe out the Manam Scana and a Kwanu Kansa Quenda, if you cannot pass Nachko, Ruganachi, but everyone has dreams. In your opinion, what are some of the factors that you would say contribute? Uh, towards the imbalances between men and women in, in society. So in other words, all we are saying is that we are saying that we we are Kuti atina chati no kwanza kuita chino kwanza utende sambi in life. Yeah, that's what I think. Okay, thank you so much. What do you think, Vin? Uh, I think the issue of culture, whereby in our society we have this belief that the ju the duty of women is to be a children, take care of the family. So mostly girls are not given a chance to to be educated so that they can become the people they want to be in life. And also there is the issue of lack of awareness, whereby in most families, especially in those remote rural areas, they don't know what, they don't know the, their rights. So mostly we see young girls being oppressed. They are not given the chance to do what they want to do in life. That's all. Okay, I really get what you're saying, you guys. And I also think that it has to do with, uh, like you have stated, culture. I have seen that many people see women as people who are just meant to get married and take care of the families. And women, are, especially even in our communities, an independent woman is not embraced as much as, you know, those women who are married, women who are just housewives. So I think sure, our culture really perpetuates uh, this issue of imbalance because of uh, our tradition, I would like to believe, where people, where women were made to rely, bear children and take care of the family. So, yeah, I think you're right. Thank you so much for your contribution, Vena and Takudzwa. Okay, my third question is, what impact does child marriage have on the girl child? Okay, I think it comes with a lot of abuse, especially when girls are married at a young age. There are, sometimes a person can be married whilst they are still dependent on someone. So when they get married, they will still be dependent on that person. Yet, it leads to cases of abuse, especially domestic abuse. And also, there is the issue of poverty, whereby mostly when we look in our communities, girls are being married at a young age with someone who is not even employed or what. So, it leads to poverty, I think. Okay, thank you so much, Fena. Takutwa, do you have anything to add on this question? 
okay uh ndinofunga kuti nema marriages eh uh, vana uh, vadikaya like ari unhealthy and um dusaka economy yedu aikure because vana vanofana honge vari ku kumabasa acho ndo vari ma marriages vakasireta ma marriages kuti avana kuenda kuchikoro anopedza chikoro kuti vapinde mabasa so that's why economy yedu isingati say isingakure thank you so much inini i would say some of the things that actually uh, impact the girl child also is the issue of access to services like uh, contraception and um even information relevant towards them planning for their families because you find that if a grade seven person, if a grade seven girl is getting married, surely she doesn't know anything to do with their sexual reproductive health and rights. So it's something that needs to, to then be looked at. And so, you know, I don't think that these young people, these children rather, actually have access to this kind of services. So I then think that they end up having more and more unplanned families and it's a very negative uh, impact that is actually having a, a negative impact on the lives of these uh, girls. Okay, uh, so now the fourth question uh, is uh, what do you think can be done to deal with perpetrators who continue to engage in such acts despite the government's efforts to educate and discourage people? So basically this question is going to be Yes, so you remember to try to get my child marriages, to start a marriage, to cure, but to cure, but to cheat, to. So that's why I'm going to rely on you to remember to do the seven years. Can I go to Jesus or to Kansa with us something? Do you have? Okay. Okay. In any way, I think can be done is ah, to my church, to never to cure and Kansa but to. Besides the cure, do go now to now go now to my name's car and do not send me no. Akamira kana nemunhu anjino noti uyu muhombe kana kuandirusha ndokwanisa kumuudza zvazvakashatira Okay thank you so much Takudzwa Vena do you have anything to add towards this I think it all goes back to the parents how the relationship the relationship that is there between the child and the parents because mostly it is the duty of the parents to create a bond with their child, whereby they teach them what's good and what's not good. And also, it goes back to maybe schools can play a part in that, whereby they educate on the implications of dating older men or getting into early marriages. That's why. Uh, that's so helpful. Thank you so much, girls. Yeah, so besides the government, you know, doing their efforts uh, to try and eradicate child marriage, we have us as the community and we have to make sure that you are a sister's keeper. So that's what we need to do as communities. We don't only have to rely on the government, but we have also to rely on ourselves to protect our, our children, our sisters and our brothers. Uh, so the fifth question now, the fifth and final question is saying, um, do you think the dream of equality will be realized in five years' time? Uh, so uh, the dream of equality, I'm sure it has to do with uh, sustainable development goal number five, which is um, gender equality. So in five years, ten talk to ah, vakadzi varukwa na oma basa zvakango fana na ne varume o zvichango kora mbaziri zvaziri right now. What do you think, you guys? I think it will be realized. Because now women are able to work, they are being employed in areas where people used to say a woman can do this, a woman can't do that. So now I think it's, we are getting there. Well, I love your confidence. Thank you so much, Ven. I hope so too. Uh, let's, uh, well, I will give my contribution after Tafkudzwa, of course. Tafkudzwa, do you think in five years, Tintane, Kwenza, Nakuya Rumine Wakadzi? Yeah, I think so. Because in five years' time, things are not going to be the same. We do work as we can. We never run away. We put the same bonds we can. We send the kids to work and we pass. But now, to put one of our kids, we got to one of our good deeds. We send it. We never get to end up with a pass. So I think in five years' time, yeah. 
Oh, that's really amazing. I would I, 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 I can't say definitely in five years there will be equality, but I I'm hopeful and I think that well maybe we're getting there. Because I see a lot of uh, empowerment um, spaces, a lot of empowerment um, forums where women are gathering around. Like we recently had the Women Deliver conference in July where women met, even men were there, but it was a, a conference centered on how women can, can you know, flourish and, and even like become the, the leaders. So I think that, uh, well, it can be achieved due to this kind of efforts to empower women. And uh, yes, maybe, just maybe, I'm not definite, but just maybe we, in five years, we will have equality in terms of uh, gender. Thank you so much for joining us today, young ladies. It was a really eye-opening conversation that I had with you. And I hope to have more of this Thank you, viewers. See you next time.